Hey guys, welcome to our uh, warehouse in San Diego, our Big Speed. Now today we are going to show you how to install our power pole adapter. So today's entire session is basically installation. We're going to show you how to install your uh, Big Speed power pole adapter, which comes shipped like this. Uh, you've got an accessory pack inside the power pole plate and you've got your vertical pipe. And we're going to show you how to install that on a pro angler. A very similar process is done for uh, Hobie compass kayaks. We don't have a compass. We do have the back of a pro angler here. And then we're going to do the same thing on an outback. And there is the back of an outback. So I'm going to run you guys through how to do that. Now these are two of, the, two of our more popular kayaks that people put power pole plates on. Uh, for the pro angler, what you do need is a power pole plate adapter from Hobie. And what this does is this goes on the back of your uh, pro angler, uh, replaces the cover for your rudder and uh, sits like so. And essentially all this plate does is it gives you the whole pattern you need for your uh, micro anchor power poles. And we use that same whole pattern for our power pole adapters and we install our motors onto that. And the installation is super simple. You need almost no tools. All I have is a Phillips screwdriver and a couple of wrenches here and we will get all of this done with those three tools. So, first thing we do is I'm gonna open the power pole plate and show you what it ships with. So this is our brand new power pole plate adapter. You do get this little bag here. I'm gonna show you what's inside the bag. Inside the, oops. Inside the bag, you get the one Allen key you need. You get a set of nuts and bolts, spacers and washers, and um, you do get these two gnarly bolts that will help put the power pole on there later on. Okay. And you get a pull rope, a clamp cleat, and your locking mechanism that will allow you to either lock your pole so it doesn't steer or unlock it and use a different steering method to steer your motor. Um, you can steer with your rudder, but as we'll see later, on the outback, steering with the rudder is not really efficient because the rudder is in front of the motor, doesn't steer really well. So what you might want to do on an outback, on a kayak like outback, is get the pole steering adapter and add that onto your drop, uh, onto your vertical pipe so you get really good sharp 180 turning. So, so first thing we got to do is, before we put this plate onto our power, so first we're going to start with a, with a pro angler, okay? And we got a pro angler of 12 here. You will notice on this plate, you've got different sets of holes. Um, I believe the two top ones are for the 14 and 17, and the two bottom ones are for the 12. So we've got a pro angler, the back of a pro angler 12 here. So this guy will go right there like that. But before we put this on here, what we're going to do is we're going to put our power pole plate onto this adapter because if we don't do that, it's going to be very hard to access the belly of this thing and screw this onto there later. So you'll see what I mean. So first thing I do is grab my power pole plate right there. We have some nuts and bolts that come with it. We don't need the spacers for the, for the pro angler version of this. All we do is we're going to use these washers because it'll make it look nicer and cleaner. So there's one. Again, the spacers are optional, so we don't need the spacers for this uh, particular application. We will need the spacers for the Outback, um, and I'll show you that in a minute as soon as we get to the Outback. Don't tighten the screws until you get to the last one. It'll just make it easier to, um, to install them. You give yourself some breathing room. And really all we're doing here is we're gonna hold these guys like so. And give them a good tightening. Like everything else on these kayaks, guys, we don't want to over-tighten anything. No impact drivers. 
no crazy tools. Everything should be hand tightened and within reason. And last but not least. So there we go. That's literally it. That's all you need to do to get your power pole plate onto the Hobie power pole adapter plate. So now we got to go on here. Now Hobie provides a number of nuts and bolts in their kit. And um, you can buy this kit with the nuts and bolts or without the nuts and bolts. Um, you know, we, we, the ones we sell on our website, you can buy this as a bundle on our website. We do sell it with all the nuts and bolts. There are some extra nuts and bolts in here we don't need for this application. Um, so everything we need for this application is right here on this table. Um, the first thing to do is to secure this so it doesn't move on you. And all you need for that is your Phillips screwdriver. Again, we don't want to tighten anything too much at this point. So you've got, you got some play room. So we're going to do everything sort of slightly loose. So we've got some wiggle room here. Now on the bottom of this, you'll notice you've got a little spacer. And we're going to secure this to the H rail. You'll see little spacer for the top and two um, U brackets on the bottom. So U bracket on the bottom. U bracket on top and spacer goes right there. Okay. And then we take two of these guys per side. One there. Again, we don't want to tighten too much. So we've got room to, uh, to breathe. Another one goes in here. The second one is a little bit trickier to get in because I'm already kind of fighting this here. But you can use a screwdriver to drive this through. Loosen this up a little bit. I can see him coming out. And as you can see, I'm already sort of struggling getting my fingers under the adapter here. Okay. Now I can go ahead and tighten this guy just a little bit. Now, had I put in the, had I put in the power pole, uh, the Hobie plate first, you could see how difficult it would be for me to get my hands under here and try to get these bolts on here. So that's the reason I put the power pole plate on first, because if I had put this plate on first, it'd be impossible for me to get my hands in here and try and get these nuts and bolts on tight. So that's the reason I put that on there. So we're going to do the second set here very quickly. Now we do have this power pole plate on sale on our website guys. And I think an email went out today with a, with a bit of a discount. Um, and I'm going to look, make myself look very unprofessional here because I kept saying not to tighten anything, but I tightened the other side and now it's a little bit challenging to get this in here, but we're on. So that is that. Get one side on there. There we go. And in here. And we are on. Okay. And again, I've already tightened my other side. Remember guys, this is all plastic stuff, most for the most part. So we're going to be nice and gentle, no impact drivers again, and 
tighten everything up within reason. Don't over tighten anything. You don't want anything breaking on you. Okay, that's it. Now remember, we didn't tighten these. So we're gonna go ahead now at this point and tighten these two screws as well. And we are done, that is it. So we've got our power pole plate. I don't know, how many minutes is that, Chris? That was uh, under 10. Under 10, all right, so under 10 minutes and I, and I probably talked more than I should have. But anyway, we're on, that's it. The only thing that remains now is for us to put our vertical pipe down. So that's very easy. You saw those two gnarly bolts that came with that. So we're just gonna open this up. And, oops. That's it. And again, no tools for this one. Nice and easy. One and two. Make sure this is facing forward. And once we're on, you'll see we'll be able to clip on, clip on into our uh, pipe clip there. That's it. The only thing left now is if you want to put a motor on there. As always, there is a video link below in our installation page about how to put this on properly, how to put the motors on properly, how to make sure your connectors are made it properly. We are finished with this portion. We now have our motor on our Hobie power plate. That's it there. Now this motor right now is loose and turning. Okay. If we do want, as I mentioned before, let's put this in out of the way. So if we do want to lock this motor down now, now remember your Hobie uh, Pro Angler has a really nice rudder on the bottom. So you do want to, you don't want to steer with this motor necessarily. If you do want to steer with the rudder, we do have this rudder or uh, this adapter lock that is included in all the adapters we have now. And this item is available for purchase separately for those who have previous versions of these adapters. Uh, this is a new item. We've only started introducing this a few it's about two weeks ago, I think. So this is a very simple clamp that sits on your power pole vertical pipe. I'm gonna show you this very quickly. So if you hit something, guys, you noticed I kicked the motor out. So if you hit something, this adapter is nice because it does allow a kick up. Now, how do we install this? Very simple. Have the Bixby pointing the right direction so people see what kind of great equipment you're sporting. That pipe clip goes right there. And got the other one here. So what we want to do is we want to align the hole on this pipe clip to our bike, to our pipe clamp here. We want this to be nice and tight because this is what holds the pipe from turning. Okay, that's it right there. This does come with this little quick release pin. We drop the pin in there. This motor is now locked down and that's it, it's not gonna turn. So now you turn with your rudder. If you do wanna turn the motor, clip, take that out, and now you're turning. And you can see on this adapter, we have really good turning range. More than 180. Okay, and if you do wanna lock it down, again, that pin goes right there, and now you're locked. That's it, you're not going anywhere. Okay, so that is our adapter on uh, Pro Angler. I'm going to turn our little rock here like a magician. And I do have an extra power pole plate here because I know a guy who sells them for cheap. So well, I'm going to use the same power pole plate. I'm going to put this on an outback. Now the outback comes with these pre-drilled holes and brass inserts that makes it super simple. So that 
hole pattern now is very common on a lot of the fishing kayaks. So if you've got that hole pattern, it's super simple. All you now need are these quarter inch bolts and most kayaks have quarter inch, um, quarter inch inserts anyway. So we do include these quarter inch bolts in your uh, kayak adapter. <clears throat> now I do know from experience that for our um, outback, we're gonna need these spacers. So, and I've got some extra ones on hand from the other kit. So we do need these spacers and I'm gonna use a washer on top just to hold them and not to crush the spacers. So we've got, and I know I'm gonna need two spacers per side. So I've got spacer, spacer, oops, spacer, spacer, washer, bolt. And that just goes on there like so. And again, spacer, spacer, washer, bolt. That's the second one. I'm gonna use this to get in there a little bit easier. I did over tighten this one. And again, spacer, spacer, washer, and bolt. And that's our last one right there. And now I get to tighten them. That is it for a power pole on the Outback or on any kayak that has that power pole micro anchor hole pattern and inserts on the back. So it's that easy guys. Now, <clears throat> common question, can I leave that on the kayak? Yes, you can definitely leave this on the kayak. It's all a stainless steel and an anodized aluminum. Nothing's gonna happen to it. This is strong enough. You can actually carry your kayak using this adapter if you wanted to. Um, the, the part you do wanna take off and you'll see that here. If you're transporting your kayak, if you're storing it, it's as easy as this. This is the part you want off. You don't want this sitting on your kayak if you're putting it in the back of your truck. And that's as easy as just taking it off, flipping it off, and you're done. That's it. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it on my outback. Same procedure. in there now this clip is quite rigid so you will find it at times it's a little bit difficult to get this into the clip the reason for that is that clip needs to be rigid enough so if you're going in reverse it doesn't keep popping out of the clip one way to get that in there very easily, um, just put your paddle, put it right on top of the adapter here and give it a bit of a push and it'll go right in, okay? And if your motor is in forward, that's even easier. Now, like I mentioned before, on your outback, you can have this locked so you're not steering or you can unlock and you can steer the motor. Now, how do you steer the motor? Well, Bixby, pole steering adapter is probably the best option. And it chips like this. And we're gonna install this on here today. And you'll see how easy and quick that is as well. Same anodized aluminum for everything. Everything is stainless steel and anodized aluminum. So no rusting, salt water, fresh water, doesn't matter. <clears throat> this adapter comes with a little zip tie here. And very simple. We're gonna use the same 
pipe clip here, we're going to secure our pole steering adapter onto the pipe. There's a little opening through this guy that allows you to slip the zip tie right through. And by the way, you can put this left-handed or right-handed. It doesn't matter. You can turn this and put it in the other way. Um, if you prefer your steering to be on the other side, it's just as easily mounted in reverse. <clears throat> Once that's on there, it's secure, so it's not moving anywhere. You do have this other nut and bolt here that goes through there. Again, right through that pipe. You can see that there. You do have a little washer there. We've got the same five millimeter Allen key here that we're gonna use for everything. So the zip tie is just to give you sort of a bit of, a, a bit of guidance. Really what holds this adapter in place is um, this nut and bolt here. So you wanna make sure this is nice and tight. We secure our zip tie. At this point, we can cut off the extra bit of zip tie and then we have our actual pole adapter this goes on the end of our adapter here also again depending on your kayak depending on your setup you can have this on top or you can just as easily have this going the other way on the bottom depends on your kayak depends on what your setup is like i'll just put it on the bottom for here for today but you can put this on top, just depends on the angle of your uh, kayaks. Hull, we'll get this again, same wrench. What we do is we tighten that a little bit, and then we can spin this out and make it nice and tight. Now, once this is on, we don't ship this pole, but you guys can buy your own pole. It is extremely expensive for us to ship this, but you can pick these up at Home Depot, any hardware store, any paint store, this one is a cheap one. So I think it was about 15 bucks from Home Depot. <clears throat> it's a telescopic one, which is nice. You can open it for more reach. You can buy a really nice $80 one. This is a nice cheap one. This gets right in there. And now you've got steering. It's hard with this rack here for me to do this, but you get the idea. If you're sitting on your kayak seat and you want to steer your motor, this is all you need to do. That's it. You don't need to swing your arm in big angles. You just need to swing your wrist and your steering. You can put this down beside you on your seat and it won't go anywhere. It'll keep you straight. If you really are in choppy water or if you want to make sure this stays put, you put a little bungee over it and you're done. It's not going anywhere. That is it. So I've, in, I've showed you basically in about 15 minutes or so how to install power pole adapter on two different kayaks, how to install the locking mechanism, how to install the pole steering mechanism, all of that with two wrenches and a screwdriver. That's it. Okay. Any questions? Oh. Hit us up. Yeah. A lot of people Pretty are interested clear? in the blue. They're saying the blue anodized looks great. Um, Cindy said she'd love to see it on a Vibe Kubera. And uh, she'll be happy to know that at our YouTube right now, we have a tutorial video showing how to go on a Kubera. Oh, on a Kubera. We were on a Kubera on Saturday, and we did this awesome video on a Kubera. So that'll be up probably in the next couple of days, right? Yeah. That'll Make be up sure in the next couple of days. On YouTube. YouTube.com yep. forward slash Bixby. We have install videos, lifestyle videos, everything Bixby you'll need to find on there, guys. That's right. And uh, this will be on our website as well. Any other questions? Hit us up on social media, email, phone, text message. A slow mail, what is a snail mail, whatever you want. All right, we're here. Have a good day, guys.